Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now these days, I notice that more and more people are using robot vacuums to clean their homes. It's not that we are getting lazier, it's just that these robot vacuums does such a great job that it's always better to just have one place at home to just help you out in those situations where you are just too busy to clean your home. Well, I've been testing out a couple of robot vacuums of late and recently TP-Link just launched their brand new Tapo RV10 Plus which is actually a basic robot vacuum that you can purchase to put in your homes. Now what I mean by basic here is basically TP-Link has various models of their robot vacuums and this RV10 Plus is actually one that sits at the entry level point. They have even more powerful enhanced versions but today we're going to focus on what an entry level robot vacuum can actually do to help you out at home. First things first, in terms of the price, the Tapo RV10 Plus is going for just RM1099 here in Malaysia, which again puts it at a very affordable price point. But you might be wondering, what can a basic robot vacuum do to help you out? Well, in this case, it's not just the robot vacuum itself, it also comes with an accompanying dustbin that you can, you know, just pull off the rubbish automatically on its own, so you don't have to keep on removing the dust from the robot vacuum, and I think that's actually very helpful. Now, the second thing that I noticed here about the RV10 Plus is that it's actually quite small and compact in terms of its form factor, and this is actually a good thing for two reasons. The first reason is because I can place it in any small corner of my room. The second thing I like about it is that the robot itself is also slightly smaller and more compact compared to other robot vacuums out there so that means that it can go into all kinds of tight little corners this RV10 Plus really does a great job in that area. Alright, so with that said, that's just an intro about the RV10 Plus. Let's see how it really does in terms of cleaning my house. Well, before we do that, we have to take a closer look at the RV10 Plus robot vacuum itself. If you flip the device to the bottom, you will notice that we do have a HEPA filter over here. We also have a floating suction mouth to, you know, uh, pick up all those dust and dirt on the floor. And last but not least, you also have a detachable main brush. In terms of the suction power, the RV10 Plus here can go all the way up to 2000 PA and this is actually quite standard if you just compare it to other robot vacuums out there. Again, this is the basic model so at 2000 PA, I think it's just sufficient enough to pick up all the dirt on the floor which I will share a little bit more later. Apart from that, it has also four levels of suction modes. You have your quiet mode, you have your standard mode, you also have turbo and max if you just want to pick up a lot of dirt on the ground. Me personally, I like the quiet mode the most because it's just 53 dB and it's actually very very quiet. So in terms of cleaning the house and the rooms, how does it perform? Well, honestly speaking, I have been using this RV10 Plus for the past few days now and I noticed that it's actually very good at picking up small pieces of dirt. If you leave any like pieces of paper on the floor, it will actually be able to suck them all up very cleanly. Apart from that, you know, I always have some kinds of hair on the floor as well and I noticed that the robot does not have any kind of stucks in between the brush itself. It's always been able to pick up all those kind of dust, dirt and hair on the ground very, very efficiently. So that's definitely worth pointing out of the RV10 Plus. Other than that, another thing that I really like is that the RV10 Plus can self-empty itself like I mentioned earlier on into the dustbin which is the dock and you are only required to change it every 70 days which is like slightly more than two months and I think that is great because it gives for a fully hands-free experience. Alright, so other than that, the RV10 Plus is also capable of mopping your floor. Now, we have three different kind of water flows to suit different kind of floor types with consistent and steady water pressure. Now, what's worth pointing out here is that it does come with a 300 ml water tank which you have to fill in yourself and you will be able to mop a space of approximately 200 square meters about 2100 square feet so it's actually quite large if you see like for standard kind of apartments here in Malaysia it's about 800 to 1000 square feet so if you have two floors one tank of water can actually mop the entire place and I think that's again quite great alright so moving on let's talk a little bit about how the RV10 plus navigates around the home is it good at avoiding your objects is it good at avoiding cables and all that. Well, the RV10 Plus uses what it calls a smart dynamic navigation which basically uses gyroscope for mapping and infrared for obstacle avoidance. It also cleans in the zigzag kind of path for higher efficiency and it works surprisingly well for a non-LiDAR robot. For instance, I noticed that the robot was able to map my room really accurately and in terms of avoiding objects such as my dustbin, my chair and all that, it was actually able to avoid all those quite well. So, in terms of tracking, I think you don't have to worry too much about the RV10 Plus. It should be able to track your rooms and your spaces and your objects really well. Alright, so last but not least, how long can the RV10 Plus last? 
Well, basically it has a 2600 mAh battery which is good for about 3 hours of cleaning. Again, if your house is a large house, a two-story house, you will be able to clean the entire house on one single charge. Apart from that, it also works with Google Assistant which you can actually call out commands to clean your home which is again very very hands-free. Alright guys, so at the end of the day, me personally, I think that the RV 10 Plus is actually a very good option if you have a small budget but still want something that is able to self-empty itself. The RV 10 Plus here does a great job at vacuuming your house, it does a great job at mopping the floors as well. Apart from that, it also self-empties into the dustbin which again, you only need to switch the dust bag out every two months and I think it has a great battery life here to last like cleaning the entire home. Having said that, if you want to learn more about TP-Link's Tepo RV 10 Plus, I'll leave a link down below. If you want to ask me any questions, feel free to do so in the comments down below as well. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody, bye! Bye.